All right, gamers, welcome to my season 14 Gen ADC gameplay. This game, I'm going to be playing Gen Sona into Ash Soraka. I guess I'll probably run or rush Swifties here since the... Oh, God. Did we lose this? Probably. Jeez, Kane really should have smited there. Um... If he'd just smite it to kill that red buff so much sooner, man, they would have been screwed. Close. This needs more. Ah, look how high HP Soraka is, though. We'll go Nash. Got her. That is unreal that we actually got first blood from that. Goddamn. Alright, not the start I would have preferred for a video. This is very chaotic, very messy, but uh, hey, we won. I'll take it. I was gonna say, maybe I should rush... Swifties into Ash. Since we don't have very strong trading with Sona, so it hardly feels worth the effort of just building damage to trade with her. Or we might still lose trades anyway. And Swifties will keep me safe against her slows. Nice. Gotta really hope I can crash this. Alright, we need to disengage. If she slows me again, I can always just cleanse it. Okay, they've lost so much HP to minions here that I should be for perfectly fine here to just finish crashing this. this would be easier if blood can we guess a Raka? We certainly can. I'll cleanse the slow, just to be absolutely certain that I don't die there. Without enough attack speed, you can't really apply the slow in time to keep on chasing me, so we're all good. I don't even really need to base here. If, Sora if Sona lands uh, any attack on Ash, I'm just gonna hit W. Here we go. Kill her, Sona. Kill her. Kill her. Nice. Perfect. Took so long to happen though that we're gonna have to shove in yet another wave. I think gonna have to try and help me with the wave. I'll use my E to wave clear here instead of my Q because I assume it's gonna hit more minions or at least similar amounts for less mana. Does it do oh, thank god she has that. I didn't even notice she has that. Wait. I don't actually know what the new items, uh, support items do, by the way. I skimmed through those changes in the patch notes. Uh, we'll get double long sword and we'll go for the refillable. Yeah, this uh, that start was actually so completely random, I didn't have time to talk about what builder went around this game. We're going to be running Yomus. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be really busted on ADCs right now because they uh, made it a lot cheaper. It's It now costs 2700 instead of, I think... It was 3100, yes. and in exchange they removed CDR from it, and I think that was pretty much the only change. No, I think they also they must have also removed the like spectral shards thing or whatever. But basically, they kept the best parts of the atom while removing the worst parts for ADCs and and uh, lowering the cost by 400. So this should be really good now on ADCs that use lethality well. Jin is one of them. So we're gonna, and because we can also just run like Yomus with uh, just reg otherwise regular crit builds because there's no longer a mythic system locking our choices behind arbitrary you know, design stuff. Uh, we can just run Yomus and Infinity Edge. So it's going to be hopefully a very strong early build path that transition into a really nice scaling build as well. Scaling a little bit worse than just a full crit build, but only a little bit. What is this thing? Oh, that thing. Nice. I like that there's more options in the ADC items now that give movement speed that isn't just zeal. Well, not that it's necessarily just an ADC item, but it's something that some ADCs will be able to build. Ah, my bad. We would probably like to disengage her. I've got a fourth shot which I can trade with, but apart from that. 
Nice bounce. That did a lot of damage, almost 200. Keep going on Ash, because she is hitting Sona. Ooh, thank god I'm just barely not killable under turret there. Alright, we'll disengage as lethal tempo. Still gonna have some stacks. No, it's actually completely run out now. Either way, we don't necessarily want to go aggressive on her unless she's overextending. Except now I can just pop my ultimate open. You're kidding. Ugh. Wait, I fucked up there. I'm probably dead now, unfortunately. No, that is so tragic. I just barely did a mana for Q. Yeah, I was deliberately trying to bait out the Velvet damage reduction thing without wasting my fourth shot on it. I started by using Q, and then I walked backwards for a little bit, and then used W. And this was all while I had fourth shot available. I was just hoping she would get baited into thinking how the animation was the fourth shot, which I guess she did. Unfortunately, even with having played that pretty well and did as actually succeeding in beating out the damage reduction before my fourth shot, just slight like a mana just barely screwed us over there. <clears throat> my audience okay, at least Ash has no flash now. Well, that actually didn't bounce. That was a very awkward wave clear compared to how I could have cleared that wave. There is nothing for me but clear. Alright, we should probably get some more wards. We had, we had a ward in here, didn't we? I think we just got ganked but through there and it was still too surprising. It's supposed to be harder to gank ADC now, especially I think on blue side. Well, not, not just ADC, ball in in general, obviously. You can't just gank the ADC and not the support. Don't really need the base. Ah, they have vision there. Jesus, she's basing me perfectly. I provide my classes for my clients and my victims. Hmm, we should actually look to clear this. Mainly just so we can go contest that pink ward. Enemies should now have to farm this under turret. We see Belveth as well, so we know that we're alone here. Sorka has one more pink, by the way. So we can back off, and she might just immediately replace it. Oh, that's just a regular ward. Okay. She never replaced it, so... I got something there now, at least. Go for Sona. Um, they're currently both level 6. Well, only I'm... I'm level 7, which is really good, but we don't have the Sona ultimate. So ideally, we don't actually want to force the fight too hard until we have the level 6 and Sona as well. Uh, I think we're getting ganked there, or was that just a rocket clearing the ward? I'm not sure. No, it was actually Belveth. Big bounce of the ash. Hello. We don't predict jukes here. We only aim in a straight line. Because it, if she does want to juke, she has to walk closer into my teammates there. Unfortunately, that doesn't work out anyway. But we can't really afford to predict jukes there because if... If she does walk in a completely straight line, I think we're fine here anyway. Yeah. Nice. Once again, trying not to waste my fourth shot on the damage reduction. That's fine. I don't know if I can beat her now anyway. I'll just back off. An enemy has been slain. Enemy killing spree. Okay, we're getting 60 AD. 
And 18 lethality for super cheap with both played right now. So this is going to be a huge prospect now. And now we're going to be following it up with Collector. Once we have one lethality item, it only makes sense to follow it up with another one. One that also transitions perfectly into a crypt build. Play some vision. I don't actually have any wards on me, but actually, they're a bit overextended here. Oh, but I lost all vision. That was really awkward. Right, I'm gonna disengage for now. Okay, I don't have ult. That was fine. That was such a clumsily played fight with her dropping in and out of vision all the time. Took me ages just to land a single auto on her, but I just have such better items than her right now. Partially thanks to the ghost blade, obviously, just being so busted. In my opinion. Oh, she, wow, she moved that really fast. Okay, I'll just clear the wave then. Oh, I could have actually waited her for the walk, walk back, and I'm pretty sure she was going to assume that I would just keep, uh, ult the wave again, and I could have just ulted her. Nice try. Of course, the Sorak ult. We still got someone ult. So, if you could position for that, that would be great. Oh, no. Okay, that sucks. We just lost a huge advantage. I need minion protection before I can w confidently walk up to the there. And the minions did not block that somehow. Got her. And we got her. Beautiful. Okay, I'm not going to be going for this plating. Well, no, actually, I can, I can. The only slight risk is Bob F, but honestly... I, uh, surely I can't shove another wave, right? We're actually doing so much damage to this. Oh, we actually should have got the turret, don't we? Just need to shove this in. Dude, you can push turrets so fast now. What the hell? At least if, you're, if uh, you have that void link thingy, which I've had every game so far in Season 14. I don't know if that's just because my teams are smurfing or normal to get them every game. I did read the entire patch notes, but there were there were just parts that I didn't want to keep reading rereading over and over until I actually understood them. Figured I'd just learn them eventually in the game. I think this is because somebody like collected some objective topside. I haven't played topside yet, so I have no idea. Oh, I'm losing so much HP. Let's try it. Oop, I am that kind of badly, but... Once again, we don't predict. We keep just ulting in a straight line to keep forcing her to the side. Ah, oh, I don't know hit. Hopefully this guy is fine. I think he might actually die, though. Oh, come on. That's sad. My bad. What was Sona the whole time? Probably was just our fault, though. No, she was actually just straight up AFK. I mean, I could have looked at the map and seen that she was just taking way too long to get into lane for some reason. But oh well. Damn. Uh, I'm just missing like 40 gold. Uh, you should need to get out of here. Hopefully that ult is a good enough disengage. Ooh. I'm on the way. Should have popped you almost slightly sooner. Okay, she's dead. Oh. Nice. You will learn what beauty truly is. 
We can shove one more wave and then we can base for collector. Uh, whatever else we can pick up alongside it. Now the question is, I don't actually know whether I want to do Infinity Edge third item. That is, it would lead to a ton of burst. Maybe it could be worth it. But I only have... Uh, uh, sorry, one crit item. I would ha only have two by the time I finish Infinity Edge. Would that be worth it? Not 100% sure. Usually on this patch so far, on, I think every game so far that I built Infinity Edge, I did it third, like, or, you know, as third item. So by the time I had three crit items, I think I will actually probably just try Phantom Lancer third. Oh, right. That is the item anymore. Yeah, the Soraka scaling has been insane. Uh, I've underestimated it at least once. Still overall got the lead though. Don't even know where my magic damage came from there. Holy crap, these are so tanky. And why do they combine with the other void things? Okay, you actually do get gold from these. That's actually kind of annoying. But, well, I mean, I guess it makes sense. But it's going to irk me knowing the enemies are getting gold from killing my thingies. I don't have cleanse up. Oh god, I wasn't expecting Velva. Nope. Ah, my bad. I really was not counting on Belveth being there, my bad. <clears throat> so sad, man. I guess they, like, buffed Phantom Nature as a, as a complete item to compensate for the nerf of removing zeal from the build path, but it's so sad that I can't actually get a satisfying item here. Usually I'd be able to complete the zeal. Now all I can get is a longsword. I guess I'll go bot, actually. I'll get red buff. Probably should have killed the cannon first before using Q. Then these minions wouldn't be all like 1 HP. But anyway, this Phantom Dancer will give me insane movement speed. Even better movement speed than on the previous patch. Behind every mask, there's another mask. And more of the... I do have cleanse now, but again, he's got Belveth behind him supporting him. Oh, in the Rift World. What? Huh. Guess I can't really bother getting her. She's too fast. What was that about? <laughs> she, is it no longer for turrets or what? Oof. Hoping to find Soraka, but I never did. Holy crap. Got her. Got her. Huge shot Let's go. I was worried she wouldn't die if I didn't flash on her, so. Even if it may have seemed a little bit greedy, I actually think I made the right call because she was about to get. Killed by Soraka at the same time as dashing out. Oh. Really got him? Nice, huge. What a great fight for me. Oh. Need him to waste his cooldowns on somebody else before I can auto attack him. If he doesn't, then I just can't fight him. Oh man, I have such an enormous amount of gold now. I could actually complete the full infinity edge. I think that probably makes it worth it to just 
complete the infinity edge then. Instead of the thing that I was gonna do. Fuck me. Right, I'm out of here. Since part of the advantage of going Phantom Dance instead of Infinity Edge would have been the cheaper cost. Doesn't feel like there's much point in it now that I can just complete the full Infinity Edge anyway. Cost is no longer a factor. And I can also sell that long sword to get a crit cloak. So instead of having only 40% crit with Infinity Edge, we have 55%, which is a whole lot better. Oh. Nice, we're fine. Shame I didn't crit though. That was not a good trade just because I didn't crit. Oh. Nice one. Don't want to use Zolt unless she's flashed away and got away. Nice. Oh, she was doing Drake. Maybe we can get her? Nah, never mind. We could pr probably the right call here is just to do Baron. Okay, if Ash is here, then that's actually somebody we can chase down super easily, so we may as well. Maybe if we're lucky, in the process, we'll also get Belveth. Should use Yomus to get in this fight faster. Need to focus Belveth. Mm, I need to kill Ash as soon as possible, actually. Oh, come on. I misclicked. There we go. Huge. Okay. Need a little bit more gold for Phantom Dancer. Of course, you can also do Fire Cannon instead of the Phantom Dancer. That is the conventional thing to do. But I've been running Phantom Dancer at least before Fire Cannon, not necessarily instead of it, but before it for a while now. This felt very, very good. Very underrated. Oh, God, they have vision here. They have Yomos. Get him all off your vault. Yeah, oh well. Oh, I don't actually have my atom yet, so I'd rather stay. Need ideally one more whiff. Oh, so no. Oh no. <laughs> no idea what she died to there. Storm Surge. Uh, can't remember what that did. Huh. Alright, anyway, I've basically got my item now. I don't need to stay for golems or anything. That would be... This would just completely kill my tempo going for the golems at this point. Because I want to get out of the map with my Phantom Dancer as soon as possible. I don't want to delay it for golems. I live for the, applause. the faster I get my Phantom Dancer... I don't know why I just got a bunch of random gold or whatever. The faster I can try and hope in a play like this, should I be needed. Maybe I'm middling. Got her. <laughs> nice. And I will rotate to this. The end is important in all things. I'm not going for Baron, are they? No. Look at that damage. Can I get Soraka? Probably. I've got Phantom Dancer. And Red Buff. Uh, I feel like I probably... Should've just ran backwards. My bad. The Agar Cage was up. <clears throat> now I can do Fire Cannon Final Atom. Ooh. So going for Soraka was fine. Dodge the Belveth to be that's fine. I should have just gone, just stopped going aggressive at that point though. Like exactly at 
this point, once Belveth retreats, there is no nothing more to go for. Because I had the chance to catch up Soraka, Belveth saved her. Then instead of overextending, Belveth retreats. And at this point, it's like three people. I can't run forwards into three people. Regardless of the sass roll that's coming, there's nothing to, left to do there. Belveth saves Soraka, that is it. I gotta disengage. Uh, I'm gonna wait 20 gold for my zeal here. There we go. Nice thing about doing Yomus as well is that, uh, and it's w especially when you're combining it with like two zeal items, is that once you have full build, you can then just sell boots for something else to hit 100% crit as well. Got this Vagar, hit him. Just by being here, it just limits me so much. Doesn't matter how fast I run if I can't run through his cage. Oh boy. We'll try and help. Well, we, he's dead 100%, but maybe we can kill her afterwards. Nice movement. Got him, barely. Can't catch him. How is he so fast? Jeez. Oh, he's got that thing that gives him move speed right to his item. Uh, never mind then. Oh, he can just walk through there, of course. I'll just go mid. Damn, that's actually them getting soul. It's unideal. We'll go for the raptors here. I can't safely push mid, I don't think. They call me mad. All artists are mad. Oh, I bounced on Ooh. bounced on Sorak instead of the cannon. Nice one. Big shutdown for a Z. Yeah, it's actually an AP item that gives you movement speed. That's nice to have in the game, I think, but sad for us ADCs who are used to having the only movement speed items in the game, pretty much. Oh, hello. Got him because I move so fast. It's so hard for her to kill me. Got her again. God, he's so fast too. There we go. Why is he fast for? Is it Voltaic? No. I don't know. Maybe just with these. I was trying to bait the cage there. <laughs> uh, okay. That's just split pushing, I guess, but... I'm not afraid of the base race. Alright, GG. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.